In an age of online multiplayer and microtransactions dominating the mainstream gaming market, sitting down with a few buddies for a good six hours or so straight session of local multiplayer gaming feels sparse, to say the least. Besides for Nintendo, there hasn't been that much noticeable effort to preserve the beauty that can be party games. Until recently, that is, with PlayStation's Playlink series. A series focused on encouraging you to actually gather your friends and family, whether they are gamers or not, to engage in what I think has the potential to help combat this very issue. Whilst not all of their Playlink games have released to much praise thus far, there are a few that help demonstrate just what Playlink is capable of. With titles like That's You, Knowledge is Power and Melbit's World, you already get a strong diversity of game types. That's You is a game about how well you know your friends, putting them up for certain scenarios and laughing about it all in the process. Knowledge is Power is your typical quiz game show, even having a host of its own, but in the style of the Aardman animations. It's great fun and even has a ton of pop culture questions. And then there's Melbit's World, a puzzle platformer relying on you and your friends cooperating and coordinating to get each Melbit to safety. This is only three of Playlink's selection, and already you're not bound to one type of genre or gameplay type. You can actually go even further and into much more serious territory with the likes of Hidden Agenda a game developed by the Until Dawn people, and is a crime thriller where you all end up affecting the narrative depending on the overall decisions made by your clever group of friends. Yeah, the key word I'd use to describe the series is fun. Seriously, it's at the point where our bi-weekly games nights are pretty much always guaranteed to end with a Playlink title. With That's You, for example, where else can you take pictures of your friend, send them over to your TV for us all to have a laugh at, and then doodle all over them for even greater results? I mean, it sounds simplistic, but these sort of scenarios are what games nights are best for. Talking about the games individually, knowledge is power is perhaps the easiest of the lot to grasp. You pick your categories, answer questions, and then race your friends to the finish line. A lot of the questions consist of testing your response times, as well as your strategic mind with power plays to bring about upset on somebody else's winning streak. I mean, categories often end up being film and TV for us, but you can also get fun questions on games, sports, or even fashion. Oh, it's always especially fun to gang up on the winning friend and try to beat them by swerving the following questions into categories only you know the answers for. Along the way to the finale of each game, there are a couple mini-games such as matchmaking and name association. Things really do start to get tense when reaching those final stages and competing for the highest spot of the pyramid finale, for the desired scroll of knowledge. Another favourite of mine is Frantics, another Playlink title with a unique aesthetic. This one feels more like a deadly version of Mario Party or something, and features some truly hilarious experiences. You don't use your phone to tap on answers here, no. Instead, you actually use it as a gamepad, having to direct your characters around the arena, or zip them left and right as they plummet towards the finish line, or parachute to safety. You can smartly acquire upgrades and weapons to help slow down or even destroy your opponents. There's a strong sense of variety of minigames within Frantix, a couple of my favourites being that one that you use the chairs to propel yourself closer to the target, and one of the final stages where you gear up to fight one another off the top of a floating battle arena. And then there's Melbit's World, where communication is not only key, but vital to winning. As with the other titles, you could play this one with only two of you, but having more players can literally be both a benefit and a hindrance at the same time. And due to this title being about teamwork, not only can this help to have multiple people keep an eye on specific parts of the map whilst there's so much going on, but it can also cause a lot of fun little arguments amongst yourselves when people either mess up or get confused by what to do. Playing Melbits reminded me a lot of playing Overcooked with people, so you know, if you're okay with multiple people screaming commands at each other at the same time, whilst also failing to do what they actually said they were going to do in the first place, then Melbit's World might be for you. 
Either that or me and my friends just don't work well together, I guess. It's all hilarious and fun though, which can be part of the game's charm in its own right. Melvitt's world can feel a bit slow and too child friendly sometimes, but things really start to get intense once you've beaten a fair few stages, and especially when you start unlocking new worlds. You each take control of very specific parts of the map, whether that be rotating a bridge left or right for a Melbit to pass over, or to raise or lower a block to act as a lift for your Melbit. As you progress, you do end up having to control multiple sections of the map at any given moment in time, and with numerous Melbits all trying to reach a safe zone at the same time, things can get both a bit confusing and highly intense. You really have to know which slider does what, and remember which player controls what in case, you know, you have to remind them to carry out a certain action or something. Melbis World has been described as Lemmings meets Tamagotchi, and I'd also say it can be compared to the likes of Captain Toad for the Switch. And that's actually a good point. That's you, Knowledge is Power, Frantics, and Melbis World are all great alternatives to Nintendo's offerings. In, in my opinion, of course. And in a lot of cases, help create more intense and funnier games parties. Or oh, more serious and dramatic with the likes of Hidden Agenda, if you want to go down that route. I've been a huge fan of this little series from Sony since release, and still to this day I always find myself getting excited to check out another one I haven't played before. Also, I just want to give a special thank you to Melbot Studio and Jay from the JF Games team for sending me a free copy of Melbot's World to help make this video possible in the first place. 